Thank you so much, bro. Coming through. Yeah, no problem. People, this is um Brandon James, hip hop artist, local in Atlanta, and we go way back. Yeah, way back. Way fucking back. When we first moved here to Atlanta, it's back in O two. And um I wanna move to Jonesboro, not knowing anybody. <laughs> and um I got tricked by the flowers in the pool. <laughs> and uh right next door <laughs> was Mr. Brandon James. Yeah. Um and we just we just connected. It was you, Devon, Bear. I'm always in my crib. Doors are stay open. Stay yeah. eating my food, my empanadas, all that shit. All the time. And then we moved to the I moved to I bought the crib. Yeah. I thought they would just stay behind, but it didn't. They weren't following anyway. <laughs> and then that's when we started a little studio session. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was producing, we had the whole group. It went absolutely fucking nowhere. <laughs> but we learned a lot. Yeah, we did. We learned, we learned we a lot. lot. Fucking, it was straight. Like we had the microphone, we had the mixer. We were, we were there for hours writing. I remember making crazy beats. Just, just hours of just fucking, just people falling asleep on the futon. It was just yeah. some crazy shit. Yeah, it really was. So it was like, it was, it was dope, man. Like, um, I had, having those memories is, is badass. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, okay, well, always been to music, always been to hip hop, and now you're solo. Yeah. For a while now. Yeah, doing my thing. So what's coming out for you? Uh well, I got this mixtape dropping, uh Nice Guy Complex Volume One. Okay. Um that comes out at the end of August. Um so that's and I'm already working on the second mixtape, Nice Guy Volume uh Nice Guy Complex Volume Two. Okay. So then the third one's gonna be at the end of the year, that's Savage. That's what's up. Yeah, so just working. So how are you spending your time up? Because you know, I know I'll be seeing you doing like some like um some uh, some mic nights and stuff. I guess you're on the mic. Yeah. Your day job. Yeah. You know course, what I'm saying? Of course. Yeah. So how you let these people know, like you know, who who are trying to come up? What, how how you presenting yourself to make sure that your your music is being done well? Cause you have people try to do it, but not well. Exactly. And they have a day job. It's it's a lot to mix around. So how yeah. you how you do that? Well, basically, you know, since I work at night, you know, I get a lot of my. My music, you know, a lot of my, my, my process is done at night when I'm at work because I, I mean, I have so much downtime. So I spend a lot of time, all those songs I wrote, I wrote them at work. You know, so, you know, I, my brother just. <laughs> don't, don't, don't hope the postman ain't looking. <laughs> <laughs> so I just, I just, uh, you know, call my brother, send me the beat, or you know, right. Devon, send me the beat. Yeah. And I just hear the chorus, and then next thing you know, boom, I'm just, I'm writing. And that's it. So I just kept doing that, and then uh, I let, I actually met my manager at work. So okay. she heard one of my tracks jump out, and then she was like, "Oh, I like that." She's like, "You who, who managing you?" I was like, "Nobody." She was like, "Yo, you need to get you need to get this out here. You need to yeah. You need, you need to put out a mixtape because you you pretty fire." I said, you know, "I said, yeah, that was a freestyle. Honestly, I did that song in thirty minutes. Like Aaron did the beat, and then yeah. he was just like, "Hey, jump in the blaster project right now." He was like, "So, <laughs> so, yeah. I just basically freestyled that whole first track." And she loved that track, so she just like, yo, let's go ahead and do this. So, but you always had that talent, though. Yeah, you always had that talent. You would you would come in, you would lay your shit down, and you wait for us to write our shit. Yeah. <laughs> it was always like that. You always had your shit already done. You already had your wheels turning, and yeah. you couldn't wait to jump on the mic. Yeah. Can you freestyle some shit right now? Yeah, it don't matter. Do it. Do it. Do it. Are we just gonna? Okay. Yeah. Acapella. Yeah. Okay. Um. Shit, it don't matter. I can spit something. Um, talking money, everybody got me like I'm on the scene. Stuck in like a devil, like a rebel, running with a dream. Rappers talking to me now, they understand I'll be a king. If you talking about the drama, then you say that and the G. Everybody know me, been the homie since day one. If I got the sauce, I've been the boss, they call it A1. I ain't worried about it. Everybody know me on the scene. Still looking, searching for the right one. I call it queen. That's what's so, up, bro. Yeah, so. That's what's up. It ain't nothing. So, so your manager, what 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 is she doing for you right now? But right now, she's trying to get um, my stuff passed on to um, guys that have been in the industry. So um, she has uh, she has a hook up one of the uh, DJs coalition. She okay. knows one of them, so she's trying to pass my music through them. And I'm actually performed there last year, um, back in uh, I think October. I performed at the Outcast Studio. That's what's up. Yeah, it's on, it's on Instagram and all that. 
Yeah, it's on my Instagram, so you can go to my Instagram, uh, Brandon James eighty three. Um, check that out. You'll see it on there. Um, got a little. A guy was recording in the crowd for me, and he uh, he sent it to me, and I put on. You got some videos on your IG? Yeah, I got, I got, yeah, I got a couple. You can try to get that on there. Let's try to get get that shit on the screen. Got a couple. I got videos. I got some. Uh, I got my uh, snippets from my songs up there. That's on uh, Pandora, Spotify, Apple Music. Everything's on there right now. That's what's up, man. It, it was weird because we yeah. lost contact for a minute. Yeah, a long time. Right? So yeah. it was over probably five, six years, yeah. right? At least. Yeah. So last year, you wound up showing up <laughs> when I was working at. Yeah. And I'm looking at this fool. I'm like, yo, B, what's up? Like, you didn't recognize me. <laughs> so it's been a minute. And we lost, I'm not even sure how we lost contact because it was just... I think shit just happened. Yeah, shit just happened. You know, I would, at that time, I wanted to get my divorce. Yeah. So shit was crazy at that point. Yeah. And then after that, you guys went up moving. I don't know where the fuck you niggas moved. <laughs> so I was like, yo, what the fuck? I was like, I bet. And then numbers <laughs> just get fucking lost. I know for real. That's really what happened. That's all for that real. Because when I came back and told Aaron I saw you, I was like, bullshit, let me do it. I said, yeah, I did. I seen <laughs> Ralph. You there, bro. You didn't see him. I said, bro, I'm telling you. So he's like, he's a for real. I said, yo, right down the street, bro. It's it's crazy. What's the Instagram? Huh? Instagram. What's your Instagram? Uh, Brandon James eighty three. You should see me on there. Yeah, man. But yeah, I saw you. Then I told Devon, and Devon was like, for real. I was like, yeah. He said, damn. He said, okay. So I was like, damn. We need to link up. I said, well, yeah. I said, shit. What whenever you need to do home, is he said, get a track. We all afford to get back on again. Cause I, I had a couple of songs that was dope on, on, on MySpace back in the day, so we need to get back to this. this yeah, hit we, it. Get, we just do it. Just Cause do I mean, it. shoot, I'm just dropping. That's what I'm doing now. I'm just dropping a whole bunch of music, and whatever takes off, takes off. You know. So. Yeah, but you gotta play it. But I think people t- tend to put too much effort into trying to make something pop, instead of just focusing on the music and let the fans decide. Yeah. If it's gonna pop or not. Yeah. Cause you can't you can't control if it's gonna fucking be nah, big or not, right? Just, all you can do is make what you like. That's it. And then you're gonna find your audience. That's. I tell people all the time, it's like, listen, like, even with this podcast, it's not going to be for everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it's going to be for the people who do like the shit. And if people who do like it, my followers, then I'll keep on making the shit that gets me interested. Yeah. Like, the whole thing is about underground hip-hop for me. Have that connection with hip-hop. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, that's not the only thing I, I do, though. I just meet yeah. some mad different people. Because I want to learn about shit. Yeah. It's just part of my life. So the same thing with your music, putting your life into your music. Your real struggles, and since you're a lyricist, it's different. You're just not trying to make some kind of this hot shit. Yeah, and that's where I think hip hop has changed. Where there's so many different subcategories of hip hop. Yeah, which is not a bad thing because rock and roll had the same thing too. Yeah, right. So I think that's the that's the evolution hip hop is going to. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And I feel like a lot of artists, even older artists, you know, they they try to reject the you know the change and all that. But my thing is, you know, if, if that's really what you love to do. Just show how versatile you are. I, I agree. I really don't, it don't bother me none. It don't bother me none because I feel like if, if if you if you are that type of rapper, it doesn't matter how long it's been or what changes. You just you can adapt. Like I've I've heard a song on Andre Two Thousand and Divine Council. He he spit just like man. Yeah. He skipped the beat. Yeah. He, he matter of fact, he might have killed them on their own song, but yeah. But it was smart for them to have Andre Two Thousand on that song. I think what people need to say, especially the, I think the older heads. I I think as far as in the hip hop. Like the artists, I think they they've turned the curve compared to some of the older head fans because yeah. they know, man, if I get this new cat I'm, as a feature of my joint, it's gonna revitalize my fan base yeah, again yeah, and get yeah. me into some new fan base. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But you do have some old school, especially from New York, some old school hip hop heads who are like, nah, I'm not doing this mumble rap or this other like Yachty yeah. or or, or, or yeah. Uzi, and it's like, but no, nah, if you really break it down, listen to what it is for. It's not meant to be. Of the old school, it's meant to be the now. Yeah. If it's what the kids are listening to, it's what's listening to. And that's really what it is. Like I did a song, uh, "Pour It On Up." I mean, I'm flowing like, but it, but I'm but I'm not just saying nothing. I'm actually it's a drinking song, but yeah. I'm talking about the whole experience. I'm not just talking just to say anything. Exactly. And if you listen to the words, I'm saying exactly what I'm going through when I drink. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like I don't like the Uzi at first. He he put me more onto the Uzi. Yeah. And after a while, I started seeing his vibe, and then 
his whole kind of persona he's built. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, this is, he's got a following. Yeah. Hardcore, too. Yeah. So that's why I tell folks, you build your following that hardcore for you. You put some shit out, they got you. Yeah. Of course, you always want to expand and get some new shit. Yeah. But they got you. Did you find it yet? His, yeah, I got it. Let's, let's put that up there. Remember that on the screen? Yeah. So it's it's really badass though as far as if you continue doing your joint. All right, what we got here, man? That's a freestyle. You got the you got the speakers up on here. Oh, shit. Yeah, so my IT guy is just fucking up. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, that's I got that's the riches behind the camera. We're gonna get, we gotta get the riches on too. The riches. Yeah, you, you throw, you throw, like I said, you throw an instrumental on. I, he has a couple I, of his own beats. Hey, he throw the beats on. I, I, I show you what I know, what I can really do, bro. I, like I said, I, when I'm bearing fangs, I don't understand this life really what it's worth. They talking about the world, but that's just a gift and curse. It don't matter because I'm making money every way. They don't understand the problem, nigga, never run away. Making money automatic, yeah, looking like down, never she's granny, she's never panic, looking at me now. That's girl is bad. Oh, that's my boy's clothing line, uh, Atlanta for you. I've seen that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen that. that. Yeah, we work yeah. That's my boy's stuff. Man. I'm trying to wear yeah. these shirts right now. That's, that's, that's what's up. So when. Yeah. Giant Man merch is out. I'm gonna get you one. But I'm on the scene. People talking about the vision, but I really got the dream. People say they ready, but they walking on the window scheme. I don't understand, but you see me with that guillotine. I ain't making money, but I know my window's clean. Niggas say they got it, but they see me, man. I'm with the G. Man, I'm making money, but it's looking like I'm overseas. If you talking fresh to death, call me Bahama Breeze. Making that money, I got it. Niggas ain't looking at product. Making that money right now when you look at your life and I look at you. You bought it. I know the top of the vision. I'm making it work and they calling me king and they look at me now when I run with the pack and I'm making that money. I know how to act. Yeah, you don't understand me. Put, put, what put you're your joints on. Making money uh, right now. Just start over your shit. Um, yeah, that ain't nothing, man. I, I feel, bro. Right, this is one of my newest ones. This one is newest one. Betrayal. Okay. Would you have fruit? No, bro. I can ask. I'm gonna get Fruit Loops next month. Okay. He's gonna kill it. I'm putting that up nice too, man. I can hit bricks and that and everything. In my life, I know they me. Niggas ain't talking about rolling you up. Look at my vision, I know where I'm at. And that money's a gift on the back on the map. And they talking about money, I'm sitting in the trap. And y'all niggas don't get it, that's really no cap. I don't got time, but I'm really on the scene. Make a lot of money, but I'm really getting green. Rappers want to talk like the words, man. That girl can change the way, so I guess I'm really in between. Look at my money, I got it, yeah. Niggas ain't talking about holding me up, and I'm getting that money, they're probably, yeah. Uh. Niggas ain't talking about slowing me up. I don't got no time, cause I'm on the scene. I'm in my dream, talking about the legacy. Niggas know they call me king, whoa. Ooh, yeah, that sounds dope. Put another <laughs> one on that shit. Um, this is what people need to do: is just fucking have fun with it. Man. Yeah, that's what I do, bro. Just have fun <laughs> with it. You know, don't not take the business side seriously, but yeah, get back just to making music, man. Not that's trying to make a hit. Cause like when I watch, I watched an interview with Jay Z and Andrew Martinez one time. He's like, "What does it take to be successful?" He said, "Just make good music." That's really it. He said, "Don't don't worry about all the other. Just make good music." It's gonna, it's gonna come. It's gonna come. Just, just keep yeah. doing it. Who cares what nobody, whatever, whatever they say, it don't matter. Cause people gonna say things. Like I sent when I sent out my tracks to everybody on um, Instagram, some yeah. girl was like, "Boy, nobody do Pandora no more." She's like, "I ain't listening to that." Cool. Doesn't matter to me. It's, it's cool, man. You, that's your opinion. That's, yeah. that's your preference. Cool. But that's not gonna stop me from doing no. what I'm gonna do. So and, and obviously Pandora's still around. Someone's listening to Pandora. <laughs> exactly, like you know, whatever. You know? <laughs> it's not only on Pandora, but those are the links I sent. Right, exactly. Know, so, you know, hey, so, people, people, exactly. judgmentals. It is what it is. You know, stop, stop judging people, man. <laughs> What's one you got on Pandora besides zero? <laughs> come on, man. Hey, like, come on. And that's a shut up. Pandora is not a sponsor. So, but Pandora, if you want to be a sponsor, <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? How, let me let us know. know. 
What, which one is this, Riches? No fake. I like that. Yeah. I can tell the way, the way it's coming in is what we do. Now you got time for the wait. Nobody understand me. None of y'all know what to say. Still trying to make it on the team. A lot of y'all trying to get laid. Feel like I'm really with the team. Nobody gonna run away. Can't nobody stop me. Looking at the level. Making that money. Trying to get it now. Y'all niggas stand like you're really with the devil. I don't got time, but I'm trying to move now. Rappers want to talk about the money, but I'm really on the team. Looking at the fact that I'm really dealing with the team. Everybody understand, but I'm living for a dream. You don't understand me. You don't get my energy like you. Yeah. Rappers ain't talking about nothing. They holding me back. Look at me now, and I'm still in the legacy. Making that money, I'm getting the facts. Rappers ain't talking about doing their thing. Making that money, I know what to do with it. Niggas ain't talking about calling me king. That's all right. I'm a slip like Luke. I don't understand what's really going on. Everybody talk, but they really been a clone. Every time I rhyme, I'm really with a clone. Y'all niggas talking like you really just home alone. Making that money, I'm seeing my love with my money so good, and I know what to see. Me rappers ain't talking about holding me up, and I'm painting a picture that's different than a piece. Still trying to make it all work. Yeah, niggas ain't talking about holding me down. I don't got time for that church. Yeah, feel like I'm different. I'm wearing that crown. What you want, man? I'm trying to make it every single day. Chilling with my homie on this show. We getting lit today. Woo. Whoa. Rappers ain't talk about me. Feel like I'm holding them up. Guess I'm charging the fee. Nobody slowing you up. Nobody looking at you. Every time I rhyme, man, I know what I'm gonna do. Never know me, man. Game looking like I'm on cue. Like, whoop, whoop. Damn. Rappers ain't talking about me. Feel like I'm making it work. I just charge you a fee. First time on the beat, too. On the church. First time on the fucking calling beat. me G. I don't got time, but I never hold back. Gotta make the money now, but you never see me lack. I'll never pay the black. That's enough, boy. That's enough. <laughs> it's like burn. I know. <laughs> shit. Shoo. Yeah, bro. See, you got you got to get Brandon James in, in your, your album, bro. Yeah, <laughs> got you. It's yeah, fair. Man, I'll kill all your beats, bro. Whatever beat you, I'll kill any beat you got, bro. I'll, I'll make some dope stuff, bro. Yeah, we gotta yeah. work together. You got some. You got some heat. That them <laughs> beats definitely. I feel every single one of those. Crazy, right? Yeah, crazy. My goodness, man! I need to. Uh, damn, I need to give you Aaron and Devon's number. I need to link up with them because <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. But this is the thing, right? So when we were, when I, we were back to go back, when we were back in the crib in the, in the makeshift studio we had. These the, my, my kids were. Yeah. There was mad small. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? So they were all, you know, when the studio was available, they would just go down there and just start messing with free loops and start yeah, making that's how beats you do it. and. Um, my daughter was actually pretty good. She was like nine years old at the time. She was making beats for us. What? <laughs> so she was like, I see her so wrong. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And now with him, he's been, you know, he's 20 and going to school and making beats. It's like, it's, it's crazy. Like, um, yeah, hot full circle. Like, just introducing your kids to music can convert to so many different things happening. You inspire them to do all kinds of things. Because honestly, bro, the way your beats is right there, bro, you can sell those to anybody. Anybody would buy those. I will buy them from you immediately. Yo, them them two songs, right? But I make, but I make some heat out out of them. That was just freestyle. If I don't rope, it's crazy, man, bro. So I'm telling like, you, know, it's, you have to put your shit out there, and you can't be too self conscious of shit. Yeah, I think that's why a lot of people get stopped at because they, they tend to to speak to their best friend or to the best homie, and they like were talking about earlier, right? Yeah. How how people want to hold you back? Yeah. So if they see you, you got the talent, you're moving up, then I'm moving up with you, is either they try to get their own shit together or they don't try to hold you back. Yeah. And after that, I gotta just try to fly away. They're gonna be like, oh, hold on, because I'm not coming with you, I gotta come with you. Yeah. And you can't you can't afford a half cast like that in your, in your circle. Yeah. Because they're gonna bring you down. Everything I, you come out with is gonna be shitty. And I, and I feel like another thing is having too many people in your circle is a problem. Absolutely. You gotta have the right people. Yeah. The one that really fuck with you, that's not a bunch of yes men, that's gonna tell you, yo, tell you the that, truth. That's not your best. Yeah, like it's, it's good. good. It's like, tell me the truth. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's good, but it's not your best. Yeah. Let's, let's hit this again. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And I used to make you cash keep on writing shit all the time. I still got books. Yeah. I saved all the fucking books with lyrics on them. Yeah. That we used to have mad salt and pepper books all over the place. Yeah. And I still got them. I'm like, yo, write it again. Yeah. Coming harder. And it's all about inflection, too. Like, you got to have someone say, yo, say it like this. Yeah. You got to have them people that's willing to coach you, and you also be willing to take it as well. Yeah. But you always got to know that you, you are in the driver's seat. So you can take the advice, 
or the coaching. Yeah. And you could, don't have to. Either. But see, I love constructive criticism because honestly, that's that's how you learn. When somebody tells me, oh man, you need to put um, enough filling into this or do this or do that. Oh, bet. Okay, cool. You just gave me something I didn't know. Right. But sometimes people see things you don't see. Right. And that's what it's all about. You know, I, I hate it when I, I get around artists and they think that they just won't listen. They won't listen to nobody. They think they just know everything. And I'm like, look, when you're on the ground floor, you're trying to work your way up. It's, if you're really that smart, you know that you know nothing. Yeah. And everything is subject to change. Absolutely. Way, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's, every day is a learning experience. Every day. Anytime you learn something new, even with this, me starting out, you know, I'm learning a lot. You know, a lot of things I didn't know when I started. You yeah. know, and I'm just going to keep pushing, you know, no matter if there's a negative response, you know, hopefully it's always a positive response, but even no matter what it is, I'm gonna keep moving regardless because I know I could put out some stuff that's gonna change something, you know? But your maturity has also, is a product of that too. Now yeah. you're older, you've been through some shit, yeah. right? And then you've matured some more. That also helps out too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're young, if you have young homies around you, that's gonna be tough unless unless you have one of those mature young homies that's like, yo, yeah, yeah. do your thing, let's just rock, let's push you, push you, push you. Other cats make this one to just mooch off of you. Exactly. That's the biggest thing. That's why my, my circle, I make sure it's, it's, it's it has to be family. Like it's, and for me, family, not, not just you know, blood family, but like how we're family, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. keep the family tight. Like, when I got in your ass, we're being late. I said one fuck clock. I'm gonna fuck shut up at 1.45. <laughs> like, I don't got shit to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't got other people lined up to the podcast. <laughs> you know? And I'm like, well, like, dude, well, I thought you weren't coming. He said, I'm on my way. I said, like, it's, it's 12.50. You mean you're on your way? For the beat break. Right? Did I say that, Richards? Yeah. This motherfucker ain't got some motherfucker trying to stand me up. <laughs> so that's a prime example of what you don't want to do <laughs> when you have a meeting with somebody and it's about your brand or your own promo. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> But I think I don't call them out like that because that this is fam. Yeah, it's family. Man. You know what I'm saying? And if I didn't do it, I'd be like, yo, I could have been an asshole. I wasn't about to say, yo, I'm not doing it. I was, I was just going to say, I'm, I'm not doing shit on the podcast. But um, it came, it came down to say, yo, like, shit like that, if I don't tell you that on the real, and right. you show up late for a fucking gig, a concert, an interview, yeah, that makes right. you look bad. People are not going to want to fucking work with you exactly. or shit like that. You know what I'm saying? And you got to take pride of your brand. You don't want people in the back end that had those connects fuck with your brand that way. And say, no, it don't work with him. He's never going to show up. Because to, to throw a setup, and you have people in the background you know, putting the set up, it's expensive. Yeah. Photo shoots ain't no fucking joke. Yeah. You know, and you're paying for that time. Every hour that, that person's sitting there, they're they getting paid. Yeah. But they're annoyed too, because they, they, they want to have dinner wifey too. Like, they want yeah, to get done. Do. Everybody got shit to do. Yeah. You know? So your words, everything. So, yeah. so when you're an artist, especially young artists, you need to build up your professionalism. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you need to build your professionalism and make sure that you're doing shit on point. You keep your words or shit. That you do have to reschedule, make sure it's 24 hours in advance. Yeah. Let that person know that, yo, sorry, this is what popped off. I want to reschedule with you, but I'll make sure I give you enough notice. If you yeah. can give someone 48 hours in advance, that's even better. They can scramble or try to do something else. Yeah. But it's the respect level that cast needs to build up. I think. Younger heads don't know how to do that as of yet. They think, oh, I want to be a star, or they get a little bit of shine, or I can just show up whenever. See, the thing is not to worry about the star and all that other stuff. That stuff will come if you're, you're just consistent. It's not It's not about that. It's all just exactly. about this. As long as you make good music, make sure your music is something that you can put out and you know that's something you're feeling. Don't just drop anything and make sure that your verses are on point. Like, a lot of people be saying, I don't even know what the hell they be saying in that song. So, wow, <laughs> yeah. like, what is he talking about? I don't know. You know, and then a lot of, you know, like I said, like a lot of music now is just, you know, people talking about, you know, just simple things, you know, either about women, or you talking about fucking weapons or some shit like that. You but know, that's been going on for 40 years in hip hop already. It's like, I mean, yeah, it's I, a, wanna, a, I, wanna, I wanna listen to something different. different. I wanna hear something yeah. a little different. You know, some, that's why I always look for the artists out there that are not like everybody else. Exactly. Because the only ones I really listen to, like, you know, like Jack Harlow, or, you know, you got, uh, you know, Chaz Gambino, of course, you know what I'm saying? You yeah. Got, Lyric, you know, you got Lucas Joyner, people that are just talking things that you you never like. It's just not that type of way. Exactly. And even and even if they do take, they do go and do a song like that. They're doing it in such a creative way. You're like, damn, okay. I like how he got creative like that. The wordplay. I like I like where his mind was at. And you got to have the, the matching music too, right? So yeah. where the music is not, the beats not taking over the lyrics, but they're in tandem. 
Yeah. Right? And and they said fine dance, you gotta have because sometimes the beat is killer and the lyrics get lost. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, or the lyrics are suck. Yeah. But the beat's killer. Or sometimes you have great lyrics, but the beat's kinda oh, why'd you make that selection? That wasn't yeah, a good yeah. match. Like you gotta marry the two. But you also gotta make make sure that the producer you're working with could customize the beat for you. Exactly. That's huge. I don't think a lot of cats really understand that. Like they're picking beats over someone's catalog, which is cool. It's kinda standard shit. But can you work with somebody who says, damn, let's switch this up. I want to create and tailor it yeah. towards your flow even more. Yeah. Like, you doing this? Let's, let's make this more cinematic. Let's, let's put this in the background. Yeah. Boom. You know, some heavier shit. That's where your Dr. Dre's, your fucking Timberlands, those cats could really, the Swiss beats, those cats really tailor some shit for real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I think artists should challenge their producers in that yeah. way. You know what I'm saying? So, yo, can you do this? And so you find that one producer, like, yo, this is... Yeah, because that, yeah, that's, that's, that's what the problem I've been having now is, like, I find I got a couple of producers that I know that are on point. You know, the ones that I do know, they're a lot... They, I mean, they're they're official. You know, so they're going to charge you a lot, period. But if you do rock with them, you ain't got to worry about it. You, you're just going to pop off regardless right. you know, with them. But, you know, I'm, I'm not on that level yet. So, you know, I got to deal with what I got right now. Yeah. I do got a producer, you know, my brother hooked me up with, thank God for that. The guy's fire with it too, you know what I'm saying? And he's uh, you know, he's 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 the one that did jump out and um, okay. awesome. the other the other two songs I did, uh Pour It On Up and um, Real Nigga, those were actually mixed down by Mix Guru. That's actually not too far from you, live yeah. right down the street. I see he mixed down my stuff for that. Dude, that's why I I, I live in the part of Atlanta that I do now because the connections that I'm making up here. Yeah. Atlanta is a huge hub one for music. It's always been that way. Now with the movie industry, it's huge. And that's why I'm telling cast opportunities in Atlanta. Yeah. It's fucking ridiculous, but you gotta be in, in in the right in the right environment. Yeah, you gotta get connected. You gotta be humble. You gotta fucking network, 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 and people will fuck with you. I, I tell the richest this all the time. People will fuck with you based off your vibe. Yeah, if you got a good humble vibe and you know you you're consistent, you're killing it. People will throw information at you for free. Like I'm trying to be the black Adam Sandler rap. I want to walk in on stage with some slides on and just kill it. Like, I just don't care. I don't care about trying the to be black Adam Sandler. A rap. Straight up. Just trying to just be in normal clothes, sweatpants, come through. go on stage and just kill it. You're like, what? This nigga, this nigga just jump on stage with sweatpants. It, it, it's like, not about that. Because it's, it's about the music. It's, it's about, about the music. what I look like. Because yeah. I know a lot of, a lot of you know, they put a lot into their image. You know, the tattoos and, you know. The whole rapper's that, that, That's cool. Yeah. That's cool. That's, that's, that's your stitch. That's cool with me. I'm so far from that. It's because I'm not a street nigga. You know what I'm saying? Right. I'm not going to sit up here and fake like I am and be throwing my hands up and putting you no know, guns. Like, nah, I don't do doing that shit. I would have called you out. That shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm repping 770. <laughs> hey, yeah, nah. That ain't with that shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I believe I can get more. I can get more fans just relating yeah, really, to Just them. being yourself. Just being myself and relating to them. You know what I'm saying? They can, they can relate to what I'm talking about. Exactly. Cause a lot of times, you know, when rap, you know, some rap, rap, yeah. I'm like, I, I can't relate. To that's, that that suburb life is difficult. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wish I was in the suburbs. These was, these was in the hood still, but yeah, Terra Boulevard, but still, exactly. It was no street name. You know what I'm saying? I, I could talk about people I know from the streets, but yeah, I cannot officially call nothing out. Don't pay any sign. I'm not doing none of that. You know what I'm saying? All my music is basically what I know. I got a song talking about finance. I got. You know, I got dope ass songs. You know, and it's not nothing that it's just ordinary. Any song I got got the actual idea to it. And that and that that's the huge thing the catalyst that people need to understand is be your unique, your unique self. Yeah. Because if you can't find who you are, you just and don't get me wrong. A lot of a lot of good shit has come out from somebody that kind of mirroring or mimicking, but then they found their own voice. They found their, their own, own shit. Style, yeah. And you may have to go through that. A lot of people do that and they find their own shit. Yeah. Then there's some people who just wanna. Copy, carbon copy everything. Yeah. And that's not cool. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because at that point, you're faking a funk. You're being somebody who you're not. You know, to your point, like you said about just being who you are, J. Cole now looks totally different from the J. Cole that began. Man. People be making fun of him now because he's like, he has the hobo style going on. But if he finally found himself within, exactly. this is how I want to chill. And, and he basically just saying, you know, it's not about none of that. He said, I do it for the music. And that's exactly. what he's about. He's not about nothing else but the music. Yeah. He don't care about looking a certain type of way or nothing. He's trying yeah. to please nobody but himself. As long as he he know what he want to do, he knows it's gonna be it's gonna be received in the right way. That's why he got dope songs, you know. And people, like I heard a couple dudes saying they didn't like him. I was like, you don't like him why? Because he 
he talk about real shit. Like, yeah, he's not gonna be. He's not that rapper to be talking that. that you know that other stuff. And every that, album, just like Kendrick, is totally different. Yeah, they're not. They all got it's, concept. It's, yeah, it's it's a it's a new freaking album. It's not a carryover where some artists they kind of get stuck. And when they first came out, was the first like first like the um you know the first album, the sophomore album, and they just keep on with the same recipes. Like, well, your audience is growing up. Yeah, you know your your audience is growing financially or finance and more. They want to hear some other shit, some more motivating shit or whatever. But it's like, what can you what can you do? And then I believe in this day and age right now, you need some motivation. Yeah, you need a lot of that because what we Absolutely. got going on right now, we need motivation music. We need we. You know, it's cool to have, you know, the, the, the status quo, but right now, we need that. We need something that's going to motivate us to think different, do better. You know what I'm saying? Inspire people to want to do better, you know? Yeah. Especially in our culture, you know, because, <laughs> you know, especially in our culture, you know, that that's the biggest thing. Because that's what, you know, what's being said about uh, now, well, now about us. That's what's being said, that, we, that we, we, we're not able or we're not able to function the same way, you know, other people do. Yeah. And that's just a bunch of bullshit. But you know that's why it's more important to music. Music is power. You know what I'm saying? Is. And people don't be knowing how words, how much words affect anybody. Yeah. I mean, I songs can save your life. You know, you, you never know. You know, sometimes you be down and out, and the right song come on and motivate you to do all kinds of things. It can save your life. It can explain your life. Exactly. You know, it can capture exactly. that, that moment in life. It's it's huge. It play, music just plays such a large role in, in a lot of things. You yeah. know, it's even, it's even played. You know. Positions like in war, you know, saying so like it's crazy how everyone, you know, we have a national anthem. Every country has a national anthem. Yeah, you know, why why you have music behind your country? Yeah. It's it's huge. You want to you want to display your it's power, your brand, exactly your pride, and that's what music should be about. It should be about fun, being creative as fuck. Yeah, that's why you you call it an artist, right? Because you want to be able to expand and, and paint your brush as broad as you can, yeah. and not be pigeonholed to some shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's like well, I think also nowadays too. Ghostwriting is more known. Ghostwriting has always happened in hip hop. Yeah, let's not get it confused. Yeah, it really has. And it, but people frowned upon it. They really didn't know about it. Yeah. And people that was in the business was kind of keeping it in the shadows. Yeah. But it's always been a part of it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even with your major artists who you thought was off off the dome or they were writing it, yeah. they may have had help from a couple of songs or some cat that yeah. wrote it for them or wrote it with them. Yeah. And it's not. I don't think nothing wrong with that because. And every other genre, in R and B or in pop, them people ain't writing that shit. They do it all the time. Yeah, they got ghost brothers person writing that shit. Yeah, do, do it all the time. So I, I don't think hip hop's any different. Of course, the purists are gonna say, "Nah, you should do your own thing." There's a lane for that too. Yeah. So if you have a person with talent that has the voice to rap, but not may not have the words to fill it with, yeah, then be my fucking ghost writer. Yeah. And I've been and I've been approached on that, you know, on that type of tip too, but you know. I don't know yet. You know, right now I'm just trying to put my stuff out and then see where it goes. But if I ever get to that point, yeah, I'm, why not try it out? I would say you know do both. Saying? I would say yeah. I mean, of course, if I get yeah, hit, go give me give me a C note. Yeah. Boom. Here you go. Here's yeah. your verse. Yeah. And then you keep it moving. You're investing into yourself, man. I'm yeah. real. I think I think you should do, definitely do both. Yeah. I would think you know prioritize your shit first. Yeah. Let them know where they sit and say, yo, I can have a song right now. Give it three weeks or give whatever because based off my schedule. Yeah. It's gonna take me this long, but yeah, it's gonna cost you two hundred for my verses. Yeah, why not? You why know? not? And and and, the, and a lot of things with the ghost writing, even when people look at it and frown upon it, it's like you never know. That artist might not have time to write that song. Maybe, maybe, maybe they had something else they had to do, or they had to do a con. You know, you never know. And then sometimes yeah. you just get writer's block. And maybe, and maybe they just, you know, they just can't think of anything, yeah. and then they outsource to somebody else. But see that it helps everybody because in the industry everybody's getting you know getting their bread. Ghostwriter getting their bread. Yeah. The artists is putting the song out. You know they're getting their bread for that. You know and then art you know the you know the Ghostwriter's getting kicked back from that. So it's, it's it all helps everybody. You know it's, it's just a, a system. Some people don't want to uh, rap. You know maybe they might just be amazing writers. They don't want to rap. No exactly. Yeah. You and know? they want to they want to you know sell their music to somebody. Yeah. And there's again that's what we have Ghostwriters for. I think you know, even when people write books, a lot of authors. I'm not the author of the actual fucking book. Yeah. They have a ghostwriter with them that wrote the book. You know exactly. what I'm saying? So, and that's always been happening. You know, so I think with hip hop, we are on this change. I think the change is already taken. Am I on the cusp of a change? The change is already taken. Um, like I said, I think the older artists now, they're like, yo, we gotta get with these young cats. Mm -hmm. Because it looks like my album sales are low now. I need to get a feature to re up yeah. on it again so people know who the hell I am. You know what I'm saying? Like, like Jay Z probably is. 
is known now from this generation more about the work he's doing with hip hop yeah. compared to his probably his music. His music, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because people see him, he's helping out, you know, like McMill or whatever, and yeah. he put out some other shit. Like he'll, you know, he, he'll pay for some of his lawyers and shit. Yeah. And that gets seen on IG. People know he's an artist, but the young cats probably not been listening to his stuff. Yeah. But they're known for that. So he's evolved even to that. Now he's a true entrepreneur, businessman. Yeah, yeah. Being there, being there, first being there in hip hop, crazy. Yeah. Like bananas. You know what I'm saying? He and he, he he was told his shit was whack back in the day. That's why he formed his own label. Yeah. That's when he was like, all right, bet. You don't want to give me no, no, nothing? All right. Let's start Rockefeller. Yeah. Boom. And then it's like, yo. And it grew f- from there. But you got to take a chance on yourself. Yeah, because the world's a big place. It really is, man. And you, and you this, don't know who's listening to this, your music. You this is why I told somebody before I listened. I was like, there's 7 billion people. You're going to find a couple of heads that like your shit. Easily. Easily. You know what I'm saying? And my thing is, don't get caught up in just trying to get found in the States. If you can, if you can, if people love your shit you know, overseas, go overseas. And that's where your fucking money's happening. Yo, I would go, go over there. there. I live over there. Because the, the euro is more than a dollar anyway. So exactly. I, I, so I'll exactly. take that shit. You know what I'm saying? And if you start popping off slowly in the States, cool. Do your gigs here too. But if your shit elsewhere, go where the love is at. Yeah, go and make that bread over there. there. You know what I'm saying? So I think... That's where another another piece cats have to get understand that like, yo, it's not just here in the states. You can be huge, um, in Germany and fucking yeah. in England. You can be fucking huge around in France or whatever. There's mad other English speaking countries. You can be huge in South Africa, yeah. uh, Australia and shit. And, and if that's where the bread is, is, you know, that's where people fan fan base is at. Go to it. Yeah. Expand it. Expand on it, man. Yeah. And then from there, you can just keep on growing. You want to be worldwide. And you just want to have your own and, and bring your style to whatever. Like, yeah, this is a new style now, but I got my own way of using it. Like, yeah. if I got a song. I think I sent it to you uh, with me. I think I sent you the song. Um, oh, just to try to get that up. See, oh, yeah, but but it's I got it's just like you know the style now. But I got my own way of doing it. It's all about just making it your taking something and making it your own. See, I'm, I'm waiting for this one person to not just any person. I'm just saying in general that's gonna feature someone from a different country. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, find that dope person and just speech them. Like, yo, I'm going to give you some love. I like your vibe. None of other strength, but they're just that. To yeah. give people to understand, yo, there's other rap. Because honestly, like, you go to England now, of course, they still listen to probably American hip hop right now as much. They got their own shit. Yeah. They got their own artists popping. Yeah. So it's like, yo, like, we give me have created this platform for people, but we're not the center of attention anymore. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Around the world, people got their own shit locally. So it's like, okay, cool. I, I, this is my local artist. Mm-hmm. This is my version of Jay Z here. Boom, I love him. I was, I love her. Yeah. I'm going to support them. Yeah. I think Atlanta is very much so about supporting the music. Mm-hmm. That's why it lasted here for so fucking long. Yeah. Well, the place is kind of just fell off. You know what I'm saying? And, and people know people come here from a long ways to come to Atlanta to fucking become the artist they want to fucking become. Yeah. And the way, the, the way how the internet is nowadays, you don't need to go to a certain city anymore. You don't even need to go to sign to a fucking label. Now, being independent, it's no joke because you, you're footing the bill yourself for everything. Yeah. So you need marketing. Like marketing is probably the most expensive shit. And it's the most important. And it is most important. You know what I'm saying? On top of yeah. getting your fucking videos done as well. That's probably the next number two. Exactly. Because people, really people want visuals. Videos are never going to go away. Yeah. And that's how most people come up and become fans. Because I know I, any artist I've ever seen in my life, I saw the video first. Right. And that's what made me become a fan. I was like, I'm on fire with it. I bet I'm gonna I'm gonna check out whatever else he got. Like, cause when Jack Harlow first dropped, I know he was. And I saw his video. I was like, oh, oh, he got he got that flow. I was like, oh, so I just started looking up everything he had after that. You know, and that's really how it goes. You know, you could put an audio song out, but it's not gonna do too much compared to you putting out an actual video, right? It's, the video is like pretty much everything. When you find somebody you're comfortable with to shoot your videos, just run with it. You know, and that's really right. what it is. And it. Yeah. And if you can find somebody that you know you like family with, that's even better. No, you're right about that. I think it comes down to what we talked about earlier too. Find that right producer that can really customize that beat for you. Yeah, your director for that video should do the same exact thing. Exactly. They should have that fucking vision. Exactly. For your video, even something more than what you have. Yeah. And you may have, you may come to the table with something. Yeah, this is what I want. And they may say that's cool, but I got this. Look at this. Boom. Yeah. And you may say, oh yeah, let's put my shit aside. Let's do your shit. That's collaboration. That's yeah. giving up too. Like people always want to have total control of everything. The best way to have control 
is understanding that you know you're not gonna have everything on and you, know. you gotta be open minded. If you're gonna try to, to do this whole thing, you gotta be open minded to everything. You can't shut down ideas and, and be on this whole like you know, you you're like this on you're on this pedestal, like I just don't believe in none of that. Like I'm always gonna be humble no matter what. If I got if I blow up and I, I got a million fans, I'm still gonna be looking just like this. It's not gonna change. But the money the money is only gonna do a couple of things. If you're a fucked up person, yeah. The money's gonna make you more fucked up. Yeah, exactly. If you're a cool, humble cat, then the money's not gonna just is just gonna allow you to do different things. And all I wanna do really is just take my my family, you know what I'm saying, and just expand everything. Turn everything to other things that I never thought I could even do. Like right, damn, I didn't know I could even do that. Damn, I didn't even know I was gonna that was gonna go that well. I didn't know that was gonna happen. You know, and that's that's what it's all about. Like, you know, for my brother, you know, Bear and uh yeah. You know, for Devon, and you know, and they, they fire with it. It's just like they their beats are crazy too, especially Devon. Devon is on a DJ D Scorpio is on a whole other <laughs> level. Like, if you heard some of he dropping right now. My goodness, like yeah, the boy can do anything. He can do anything. I would and, and Aaron got his own gritty yeah, style. You, get, you can't get it up. You didn't get it. Yeah, I didn't get it. Didn't get it. Uh, what's I think I might have sent it to the wrong. Maybe I sent it to the wrong email. Let's see. My fact, I'm gonna just send you the song right now. See if um, if BJ here had a iPhone, he could have just uh, air dropped it, but he wants to have this droid joint. So <laughs> you know, I'm not yeah. saying nothing about it though. No, I'm saying something. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get. Hey, you go ahead. You can type in your uh, your email. That way, I can send it right to you. All right. So man, it's, it's great catching up with you, though, man. Yeah, Same yeah, man. I, I mean, really, and you just need to get back on it, man, and just start working together, cause. Like I said, I'm just trying to build, you know, the team. I got, you know, I got, you know, Aaron and them for the beats. You know, hopefully, you know, your son want to rock with it too. Cause I mean, he fired with it yeah. too. So you know, I just, you know, as long as I got that, and then I got, you know, you know, a week we fam, and we just rock with it. Just, just build from there. You know, and that's really what it's all about. People, and that's another thing I've been noticing when I since I got started. A lot of artists be like, you know, they want to, they want to pay, they want you to pay for this or pay for that or whatever. And even if it's artists that are not even known like that, they still want you to pay. And I'm like, look, if you're trying to come up like me. Then why don't we just do yeah. our thing for build build the fa- yeah. and then where the money's gonna come? But when you said you're trying to do all that early and it's like okay, I get what you're saying. You know your time's worth money, and I get that, and that's that's the way it should be. But people have to understand there's a level of giving out shit for free for a little bit. Yeah. So there's some, it's, there's something in business where you don't want to do right to where you don't want to dilute the industry any yeah. industry that is. Let's say you're a barber and you give a for five bucks. You're fucking up the barber down the street. Yeah. For having five dollars. Yeah. But if you if you building your skill and you say, you know what, I'm not gonna charge nobody. Who wants free cuts? That's different. Yeah. And you're right. So if you and I are working together, I'm like, yo, you know what, you know that. Let's collab because if one of us blows up, it's gonna help the other person anyway. Exactly. I want to get that money back anyway. Exactly. So me charging you fifty, seventy five, hundred dollars, two hundred dollars for a beat. That's, unless I'm dead eyes broke and I'm going after this, the money, yeah. which you shouldn't be going after the money anyway. Yeah. You should be going after your skill set, learning about your skill set, expanding it, going after your passion and purpose. Yeah. You're going to get a lot more money at the, at, the, at the end of it. The yeah. problem we have as a culture is that we like to, to sacrifice long term for short term success. We, yeah, need to, we, we need to flip that shit. Yeah. No, sacrifice short term for long term success. So yeah. given a free beat. You're in the free verse. No, I got you, bro. Looking out for the yeah. cats that's really fam. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Me peeing on the podcast and shit like this. Like, you know, yeah. looking out and saying, yo, let's let's do this. Let's connect. Yeah. Let's make some shit happen. Because then when I pop off, yeah. I'm going to have connects. I'm like, yo, you ready? Yeah. I'm going to tap you. And let's, also, let's go. And also, as an artist, you got to have the maturity to realize if you do start to blow up, don't forget those people that had no, you. Oh, exactly. When they, when they, when exactly. they when you had nothing, they had you. Don't Don't stop. Rep them always because remember, if it wasn't for them helping you, you wouldn't be where you at. So exactly. that's where it's all it's all about that 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 that, that whole system of trading and you don't forget them. Absolutely. Just like when um what's his name um designer when he dropped Panda, you know what I'm saying? you know he got that beat for somebody and it blew up. Yeah. But see, and, and if he had never met that dude, got that beat from that dude, that's he wouldn't be where yeah, he at right exactly. now. Exactly. That's all. So, so it's like you have to think about that type of stuff, like. When your people put you somewhere, if it's not broke, don't fix it. If that yeah. formula works, keep rocking with that formula and don't go from it. Just keep going from there. Absolutely, bro. I totally agree with that thousand percent because we're told in hip hop, and this is hip hop's fault too, though. Yeah. They talk about the jewelry, talk about the money, talk about the bitches and the cars. Yeah. 
but we, we never hear the artists talk about the hours they've spent in the studio. They never talk about how hard it is coming up with a fucking record. They never talk about, yo, the executive of the label just said no to six of my fucking songs. Now I gotta do half my fucking album. They don't talk about that. And that's real life shit. And that's what you should be talking about. And then people know the realistic part of music. And letting people know too that if you love the artistry of making music, the business, you're gonna have a hard time with the business side. A lot of artists do fail, not because their music is whack, it's because they refuse to learn about the business yeah. and become that business side as well. You're going to have to learn both. Yeah. So if you're a heavy, just a straight artist, no doubt you want to have your, your, your background people knowing the business, but you got to know it too. Because yeah. if you don't, you don't even know what the fuck people are talking about. It's like a different language. Yeah, and so, then you don't know who's taking what from you, how much percentage they're taking from you, you don't know nothing. You have to know all that, yeah, man. So you should have a lawyer. Read over that stuff. Yeah. So you can, you know, if you have a hard time, you know, comprehending whatever the contract's saying, they can break it down and break it down to you in lamest terms, all those yeah. type of things, you know. You need that. And if you don't have that, you're gonna you're gonna end up, you know, doing albums or signing your life away to a label and then Don't do a three sixty deal. Yeah. Three sixty deal is where the fucking label takes your merch, your gigs, your fucking your fucking downloads. You want you want a three sixty deal. Some cats have signed three sixty deals and like, yo, how you expect to make money off that shit if the label was taking everything? Yeah. You know, record sales are so different because everything's based off of streaming now. Yeah. Right? Well, back in the day, it was a hard copy of a cassette tape from back in my day, yeah. vinyl, or a fucking CD. Yeah. Now you have the streaming piece. Download, I don't think people really downloading shit like that anymore either, right? Like, people are mainly just streaming shit. Yeah. Like, no one's really downloading their favorite album. Maybe they still do it. It's, yeah. a, it's an option, right? But people are just fucking streaming. Yeah. So the way you're gonna really make money, like there always has been, because people artists never made money off of CDs. They made money off their shows, their concerts. Shows. That's where you have people doing sixty city fucking um, you know play dates and yeah. hundred fucking city play dates. They're, they're touring for two years or some shit because yeah. that's where the fuck the money is at. Yeah. And you make new, new music because once you feel like all right, I have enough happening to me. Real artists take time off, and they're gonna say, "What? Let life happen? Damn, this is fucked up. This is a struggle." I'm gonna write this down. Two years later, new album, and it's probably the best album because you didn't put out some shit back to back to back. Some guys do it and it's fine. It may work. If that was a plan of theirs and it worked, genius plan. Yeah. But we did it and didn't work, that wasn't the plan for you. Yeah. And that's what people have to say. You can't copy everything. You have to figure out how you're gonna move, but still push yourself. Yeah. It's like yourself, like you already know you have your manager, you have the music coming out, then you have to look at you have to look at six steps ahead. You gotta play fucking chess all the time yeah you do you just play fucking connect four that's just gonna yeah, fall away yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, that's you, it you gotta have you know and even um when it comes to your social media page you better off just hiring somebody to manage it you, you have to I'm, I'm getting to the point now where i gotta i gotta get a fucking intern or something okay it's, it's yeah. i gotta you, i gotta right now i'm creating ahead of time a month's worth of content yeah so then when it comes down to the day even with the captions I really have, I'm writing captions ahead of time. Yeah. So I can just copy and paste, boom, be done with it. Because if you try to do it in a flat every day, it's too much. Yeah. It becomes too much. And and at that point, you really set people to expect for you to come out with something. And you have to be consistent with it. So you have to build your shit out for a month in advance, get it going, and yeah. then put it out for the next month for as well. Keep on creating that content. Yeah. It can get exhausting. Even when I do this podcast, like, and I have mad people on my, my calendar, I'm only off two days a week. And I do all my podcasts on my days off and yeah. editing. So what? And that's how it works. I mean, really, yeah, it, it is what it is. It's, it's, it's work on the job. Work. Yeah, job on the job. Because like I'd be at work writing music. Yeah. You know, I'm. You know, if I'm not at doing that, I'm at home writing music. And if I'm not doing that, then I'm at the studio. So it's like you don't really have no time off. You know, no, and, and it's no, and if you love it, it's not even like working. It's not like working yeah. to me. This is all fun to me. It's not. It's not work to me. I mean, me creating songs and flowing. That's just something I love to do anyway. And I do that in my spare time. So why not do it and get paid for it? You know what I'm saying? So it's like this shit right here. I love. I'm like, yo, guys. I just want to talk to people. Get to learn their fucking mindset. Yeah. Learn their strategies and shit. Like, yo, what, what am I missing that yeah. could add to my arsenal? You no, know that's what people need to do. Like, yo, you have to customize your shit. Yeah. And take a little bit of everything from everybody. Like, exactly. Yo, and make it yours. And create your own recipe for your success. Exactly. And success is that's not financial. I think that's what people need to understand. It's part of it, right? But it shouldn't be the end all be all either. No, it's not. You know what I'm saying? Like you should be all inclusive about my success stories when I can do this full time and I don't have to get up to go to work. 
Exactly. And that's really my, that's all, that's really a success for me is just, I can just do this full time. Oh, you're already talking yeah. about next year. Yeah. My goal is to, this podcast is going to be in a different space. I want to rent a spot out, like another fucking strip mall somewhere, rent a yeah. spot out. We have a fucking prime studio ready to set up. Yeah. And pop it off. Like, that's that's the ultimate fucking goal to have our own little shit. And we got to rent some some little small horn wall just to get it going and popping. But it's all right. It's it's grow. And that's what people understand. You got to start off some shit. To build stuff takes time. To destroy something is it's mad easy. easy. Cause motherfuckers getting canceled out there. Whoever came up, came up with the cancel shit, I think it's bullshit. Yeah. But for people getting canceled over some bullshit yeah. or some shit that happened years ago, yeah. That they wrote on Twitter when Twitter first came out, motherfuckers being dumbasses, they're yeah. saying stupid shit. Like, yeah. I think that's fucked up. Cause now you're taking the bread out of people's mouths. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you can't. You, that's, that's all fucked up shit. Like, yeah. if I made a life for myself off this artistry, and now you're trying to cancel me, damn. This was my main my main plan. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So you have you got to have a, a, a many different revenue streams for your financial status to you keep do. it afloat and keep it moving. That way you can be free in your artistry. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Because do I want to do podcasts all fucking all week long? I probably do. I, I would love to do this, do three days three days a week. Yeah. Podcasts. Those days I'm booked. Podcasts have pocket bank them. Yeah, and then the next fucking four days, I have someone already editing them. They're getting posted. I'm free. I'm working on my other shit. Yeah, uh, real estate, whatever else I'm going to get into, yeah. which I'm getting into real estate. We got to talk about that off, offline. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, doing those other moves. Yeah, to you know to to make your life pleasant, easier, and to, it, to, and, to and live a lot of a lot of rappers know they got franchises and all kinds of stuff. So, but they don't I, talk about it. No, they don't talk about it. They, you know, and that's their business. You know, they ain't got to they want. They don't have to, but I think. Yeah. Again, they, they glorify the wrong shit. Instead of glorifying, yo, I got I got sixteen waffle houses underneath me. You know what I'm saying? Like they don't, but they keep on talking about the hood, the rides, the bitches, and the drugs. And it's yeah. like I've been I've been in hip hop around since the golden era even before then. And I'm like I'm getting tired of hearing the same old shit about that. How much more can you rap about the hood? It hasn't changed yet. It's still fucked up. I get it. There's still gunshots. There's still drugs. There's still bitches with fat asses. Cool. Got it. Yeah. I know where I can find all that shit. Yeah. Give me something I don't know. Give me some music I can feel again and be like, yo, that shit was fire. Yeah. And, and it doesn't get old where I can just play that shit over and over again. Because we're in this fast food business too to where music gets played once in about six months. Oh, you still listening to that? What the fuck else? I like it. It's my song. I'm going to listen to it forever. Exactly. Like, like, I'm not going to stop listening to the song. I, I still listen to the song from two, three years ago. Yeah. If you like the song, it's the song. It's That's the whole song. point. I still listen to hip hop from back in the day, from the fucking eighties. I love that shit. I still have to have Slick Rick on my fucking on my playlist. Yeah. Why? Because that's my fucking jam, and it takes me back to a place in time that makes me feel like, oh man, I remember this. Yeah. Oh, like if I did some music that when I first came into Atlanta, I was like, yo, Nelly came out with his hottest here. That's when I first came to Atlanta. So that song comes on, I think, oh damn, that's when I made that move from from Brooklyn to Atlanta. Shit. That song represents that for me yeah. now. Man, I've been the hottest song ever. You know what I'm saying? But it's like for me, it's like there's a connection. Yeah. That's what people need to meet, have with music that I love again. Yeah. Because look at R&B. R&B fell off. Yeah. Ain't nobody in R&B space right now. Not really. No. You got what? Trey Song? He's the only one, really? You got what? Khaled now? Jack, Jack Weiss and. Jack you know, and. A couple other people, you know. They but it's not. Back in the day, in my day, in the Golden Era hip hop, no many heads. We're doing R&B groups. Yeah, that's another thing. You don't have groups no more. That's what I'm saying. No, you know, no <laughs> not to give Diddy some dip. I heard that Diddy's coming back with making a band yeah. too. So maybe he'll he'll reinvigorate that genre again. I hope, but I hope that that they actually stay together and let it run its course. But it depends, like, bro. Because you, know, you got and let's say it's a group, four or five different people. That's probably you know different people in the background for each person. Trying to figure out what's the best for my person. Yeah. It's a lot. When it comes to a group, it's a lot. Yeah. Um, if it's a girl group, man, not that it's a problem, but the, the difficulty with female artists is that wardrobe shit is more expensive because you got hair, makeup, wardrobe. Yeah. Men, like you said, you got flip flops and fucking t shirt jeans, yeah. beauty and stylist. <laughs> right? But for a female artist, yeah. it comes a lot with the package. 
You know what I'm saying? So they have to be ready for that yeah. shit. You know, it's like they can't wear shit twice. I mean, I understand that from just wearing shit once and throwing shit away. Artists wear it once. I wear, I wear my uptimes, my Air Force Ones once, I throw them away. Oh, really? I'm not wasting my bread like that. Those shits are rocking on my feet to the fucking creep. The creases are fucking honestly, dense. Honestly, I would say that shit in the song. I don't give a fuck. I'll put that shit in the song. Yeah. Like, I'm not about to throw my clothes away or say I wear them once. First of all, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't no Princess of Wounder or nothing like that. I don't, I don't have no Arabian money to wear nothing once. So, as far as I'm concerned, even if I if I made a million dollars, I still be wearing the same stuff that I wore when I didn't have that money. I don't care. Like like I said, all that, that, that whole status quo of new shoes and new everything, new that. Man, first of all, if you didn't grow up that way. Nah. You know what I'm saying? Why, why, you, why, why are you trying to incorporate that? That, that has nothing to do with... On, it has nothing to do with how you got started or where you're at now, so why 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 be like that? Yeah, I'm not gonna change. That's that's the thing. I don't want. I would never want money or anything like that to change my mindset to the point where I think that I'm at this level and there's nobody there that can touch me. Like I don't believe in that. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell you right now. When, when Complex comes hits me up to do the fucking sneaker show shit they got right, with, with, with La Puma, right? Then I don't want to go no stadium goods, no other shit. Take me for locker, take me to the sales section. I'm not spending nine G's on a fucking on kicks. I probably spend two, three hundred dollars and get seventeen kicks. Like take me, so I'm sure you know <laughs> the Puma complex. Come hit me up. Don't think about taking me to fucking stadium goods. Take me to fucking full locker down the street. I'm gonna see how much sales shit I get. Some bomb shit. Like, cause I mean, I love Nikes, man. I rock Nikes more than anything. So you know, I'm not gonna like. I'm not spending. I spend a hundred dollars on a shoe, maybe, but I ain't spent like you no. Know, I ain't paying three hundred, two hundred dollars for a pair of shoes. I'm not doing that. Even when I see people with rappers paying, like the Louis Vuitton, I saw some Louis Vuitton sneakers. Them shits is heavy. I don't know why they so heavy. But them shits is heavy. Like they feel like yeah. cement. And then you, them shits is like almost like thirty five hundred. Like those are sneakers. It's all about branding. Those are, the so, only sneakers I would pay a lot of money for. Is maybe the Marty McFly. So those look kind of dope. Yeah, right? I, I gotta say, yeah, yeah, the Marty McFly. Yeah, I would buy them. I would, I, got, I would do that. That's yeah. some exclusive shit. Yeah, yeah, I would do that. No, yeah. but you're right. But then again, you have to learn from the branding perspective, right? So Louis Vuitton did that thing about branding, where they can say yeah. they can create a bullshit shoe and put LV on it and be like, yo, thirty five hundred. Yeah, and take them all up maybe sixteen dollars to make. I mean, it's genius. I mean, it really is genius, but. That's what brand people understand, yeah. like especially artists. Like your brand is really your biggest commodity. You know what I'm yeah. saying? To where you can command a certain amount of shit, and people will follow. Like yeah. fucking supreme and shit, yo. Like think about that. They put a fucking name on a brick. How much they sold the brick for? Sixty. Sixty bucks for a fucking bigger and, brick you get from fucking Home Depot. I think it's reselling for like one hundred, two hundred. Right. Come, Come on, on, man. This about putting supreme on a brick. See, well, when you're in demand, then you do what you want to do. This this motherfucker here. When he's about to buy some shit, yeah. we have the laptops open, desktops. We're trying to click shit just to try to get a fucking t-shirt or two. Still, they come out. Yeah, you got one? No, we are, they're sold out already. <laughs> they, and then they don't put on nothing shit out until the next season. They don't reopen yeah. the shit. Like, next season, next season. But that's, that's crazy-ass marketing. You got to respect that. The branding piece is huge. And you keep the, the demand piece. That's, a, that's the biggest thing, being exclusive shit. And people will pay the price to have it because they know no one else is going to have it. Yeah. I think that's where... Things have always been there. You always had your low end shit, right? Mm-hmm. Your affordable shit. You always had your high end shit. There's never no. There's never been no middle ground. Yeah. If I buy some shit that's middle priced, or I see something that's middle priced, I can either say, "Well, I'm a better quality. I'm gonna go for the higher end." Yeah. Or then I'm a cheap ass motherfucker, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to lower price, get the same. I'm gonna go yeah. to Dollar Tree. You know, no Dollar Tree's gonna only last for three days, but I'm gonna get it anyway because it's yeah. five dollars. I know, right? So you know what I'm saying? that's Shout why. I said, that's the whole shit. point of the music. <laughs> that's all my whole point is just to be relatable. Be relatable to to normal people. The normal things that's you do, it, bro. things you deal with on a daily basis, and that's basically what my music is all about. It's not nothing else but that. There ain't no flash and nothing like that. Even my song with me. I don't know if you, you got you it. got it yet? No, for some reason I'm not. Getting, not I even check it. my spam. It's it doesn't even show up there. Let me see. I probably can. Uh, no way. He's, he's a Russian bot. That's why. <laughs> 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 Yo. Let me see if I can pull it up. Matter of fact, if you have a, uh, well, I guess you have a, uh, I audio, you have a cord, I can do this. We actually do. You have a cord? Yeah. Took it up to where the, to, to your joint? Uh, yeah, I got a speaker here. We got, you can't hook it up to here though, right? Took it up to there, I don't know. 
Nah, well, let me see if I can send it again. Let, let, let me see if I can send it. See, imagine he didn't have that, that Android, bro. Just, just do it. Oh, yeah, maybe if you could send it to me through a uh, text message instead of email, maybe. Try to text it to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me try doing that right quick. Let's see if I can do it. So, while you do that, I think with you artists out there, man, have fun with it, bro. Yeah. Just have fun with it and don't. Don't get caught up in a big in the big hoopla right away. Have your vision that you already made it. Yeah. Learn the steps that it's gonna to take to get you there. I think a lot of people don't talk about enough is the amount of steps it takes to get you to your big goal. Yeah. They just talk about the goal, but they don't talk about the hard work you have to go through the journey and shit like that. And you just gotta make shit happen. You gotta put out music after music to keep on putting shit out. Is that it right there? You know what I'm saying? Is that wrong? Yeah, is it? I, I even typed it in. Yeah, I sent it and it still didn't go through. No. Maybe the file's too big. That could probably, because email is not meant to be sent to big files. Well, if you, yeah, if you got an audio cord, yeah, you can just hook it up to the audio cord. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Well, shit. I have to, goddamn. I don't want to know. <laughs> there you go. But, um, I'm telling you, man, it's, it's, uh, it's fun when we can do shit like this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When we both got shit going on. We reconnected last year, which is dope. You know what I'm saying? Um, as big as Atlanta is, Atlanta is small. It really is. And everyone knows each other pretty much. Man, right? tell me about it. Right. right. So it's, but it's, that's the cool shit about it though, because I think Atlanta's probably one of the few places that if, if you're good at what you do and you find other people good at what they do, yeah, they're gonna fuck with you. Yeah. They're really gonna fuck with you and make some shit happen with you. And I enjoy living here. It's been a minute. I've been here now, and um, this is home. Yeah, this is definitely home. Like, I don't see myself going to the West Coast unless it's for business. Um, yeah. But this is to me. This is especially when I live at uh, in North, North Atlanta. I, I love it up here. I, yeah. love, I love it in this space compared to we lived on the South Side before, yeah, and um, too, it was yeah. rough. Yeah, I was there for many, many years until I moved up here last year, and. Um, yeah, you know, wifey loves it. The kids love it. It's it's, it's that thing. And then, again, you, you bring yourself. I had to put myself around people who were being as creative as I was being. And it always comes down to your atmosphere can affect everything. So Absolutely, you gotta, you gotta have the and, right atmosphere. And I felt when I was in the South Side of Atlanta, I, I just wasn't connecting enough. Now I really couldn't see my vision clearly. I knew what I wanted to do, but was really on the shortest when I wrote the two books last year, started the podcast last year, just an audio. I started doing video again you know, and, and guessing. You're my second in person guest. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I was starting to get more in person guests. I still talk to people all over the world. Yeah. Which was it's just fucking huge. Yeah. Um and it, it's fun. I wanna I wanna get to know so oh, that's right, I forgot you have that joint. Because we can do two of that short. Yeah, and actually this song right here that you're about to play, this one ain't even been out yet. This is this is an exclusive. Actually it's exclusive because nobody even heard this song yet. This is an exclusive it's shit. This is exclusive shit. Bro. Yeah. You know, I'm, about, I'm, about to, I'm about to I'm about to cry. <laughs> so I figured out I figured out pr- promote you know, you know my boy's show. You know what I'm saying? Family. That's you know what I'm saying. Up. I gotta you know if I'm gonna do some exclusive shit, I might as well put it on my boy's up. show. You know what I'm saying? That's the only way to do it. So pass that. Just pass that to me. Right. So this is Bluetooth as well, dude. So that's nice Bluetooth. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's not. Yeah, it's no joke, Everything we do is fucking cordless, man. Bet. I ain't trying to play games, yeah? Yeah, you just have to let me know which one is the, um... Which one's, what's the Bluetooth name for? Uh, TW7. TW7. Uh, uh, okay, I got it right here. There's two of them, that's one. I think that's just... Yeah, I think that's the connection. I thought it was connected. Yeah. Let's see. That's the kick that I heard it from the other one. Just I now. still got the aux to see. There it goes. No, it's not because I, I must connect to the wrong one. Let me try it. Alright. You still got the aux cable over here, the aux cable. Yeah. So. TW7. There you go. Just we'll do it that way if we can see That. Cool. We set. Yeah, this is exclusive. Yeah, this is a. <laughs> Let's do this, man. Fucking yeah, exclusive yeah, yeah, shit. Yeah. This is a Carl Whitney. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, when this is come out, you know what I'm saying? I'm shooting a video for this too, so just let me know what y'all think. Let's get the logo back up, brother. Is it, uh, is it on? Because I got, I got, I just hit. Is on? Hold on. Let me change the mode. Yeah. 
the shit out here. Court. I think it's court. Ops. Try playing that. Queens. Queens. Alright, here we go. I'm about to put it. I got you. We all kings and queens. I'm a warrior. I never give up. Yeah. Running with the team, right? And I know you coming with me. All about my green, right? Watch us as we run a city. Talking to my king, right? And the ride is rocking with me. Trying to build this train, right? And I'm glad the fam is with me. Money back in the bank. Let me get with the wolves in the pack, yeah we deep With the girls in the whip, swerving in Funny how, running hard, really brings What, what you talking about? Yeah, I think I found my style Trying to set a new way that will flood entire towns Watch me as I do my dance, man we rocking through the crowd Got the bass chilling with me, watching as they break it down Look, look at my past, never thought that I would see all that ass Haters are looking, they want me to crash Making this money, secure my bag Status is changing, I wanna be king Making this music, I'm doing my thing Loving this life and I'm living this dream Living this movie and knowing a thing, you know what I mean Running with the team, right? And I know you coming with me all about my green right? Watch us as we run the city, talking to my king right? And the crowd is rocking with me, trying to build this dream right? And I'm glad the fam is with me. Money back in the bank, let me get with the wolves in the pack. Yeah, we deep with the girls in the whip, swerving in. Funny how running hard really brings. It's a new day, time to put my plan in motion, cover every avenue While the nick the steady post and drown the boost and tidal wave I ain't talking about the ocean, you say that you got that drip I got that S some salt, she soaking No tolerate hate in my lane, we not the same, no we not playing no games Made it through all of the pain, dancing for change, finally know all my aim Up in the strategy, know where you stand, no matter what happens just stick to the plan Live in this moment, I hope you a fan, can't don't exist when you get in those bands the team, right? And I know you coming with me all about my green, right? Watch us as we run a city, talking to a king, right? And the crowd is rocking with me, trying to build this dream, right? And I'm glad the fam is with me. Money back in the bank, let me get with the wolves in the pack. Yeah, we deep with the girls in the whip, swerving in. Funny how running hard really brings. That was dope, bro. Yeah. That, was, that was dope. <laughs> Appreciate that. That shit was mad smooth. I like that. <laughs> bear made the beat. <laughs> bear made that beat. My boy Bear, boy. He sent me that. He just keeps sending me beats, man. And I, matter of fact, I have one more if you want to hear though. Yeah, let's do it. Wolves of uh, Wall Street, man. I have to let you hear the lyrical. Let me get lyrical right quick. Here's some lyrical stuff right that quick. That shit's fucking tight, bro. <laughs> and that's nothing. Wait till, wait till I shoot the video. Y'all got to be in the video. Though. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely support you, bro. We'll be yeah. in the video. Make sure I have my gear in that shit. Yeah. 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 Through the city, I got all my bills been paid, right? And I got a couple stacks sitting in the bank, right? And I'm dealing with a track, always got my back, right? Running with them wolves, but I'm dealing with the pack, right? Running with them wolves, ayy. Running with them wolves, right? Running with them wolves, ayy. Running with them wolves, right? Running with them wolves, ayy. Running with them wolves, right? Running with them wolves, ayy. Always making moves, right? Never let that be a threat. I ain't trying to tell you what to do, but you got to respect that. If you got more money going out, then coming in, my nigga need to check that. Wolves don't gamble with the money. Wolves seven two, everything around me invest that. Never cut a debt. Watch how my pack bad things. All we do is talk about stacks. Trying to double every penny and make it back. Me and my crew stay facts. On the money hunt, you never knock us off track. Look at my wolf while they bearing their fangs. Taking the risk, no matter the pain. Bills on murder will put you on game. Keep all your money, no matter the lane. Running through the city, I got all my bills being paid, right? And I got a couple stacks sitting in the bank, right? And I'm dealing with a track, always got my back, right? Running with them wolves, but I'm dealing with the pack, right? Running 
with them wolves, ay. Running with them wolves, right? Running with them wolves, ay. Running with them wolves, right? Running with them wolves, ay. Running with them wolves, right? Running with them wolves, ay. Always making moves, right? Don't ever mess with a wolf pack. You never know how they're gonna act. Financially, I hope that you never lack. Stop showing off when you get it back. Silence is golden, remember that. Learn something new when you make it back. All you wanna do is just count racks. But you need a plan just to keep that. Gotta go hard for the wealth. Double love seven on your move and the stealth. Everybody here needs help. If you're gonna lie, don't do it to yourself. Pride is a freedom that's holding you back. This is a move if you deal with the pack. Focus forever until it's a fact. Running with work now, I'm needing the pack. Running through the city after all my bills being paid, right? And I got a couple stacks sitting in the bank, right? And I'm feeling with a tribe. Always got my back, right? Running with them wolves, but I'm feeling with the pack, right? Running with them wolves, ayy. Running with them wolves, right? Running with them wolves, ayy. Running with them wolves, right? Running with them wolves, ayy. Running with them wolves, right? Running with them wolves, ayy. Always making moves, right? What do you think about that song? That was dope. That was dope? Both were dope. Yeah, both were dope, bro. Yeah. I like them shit. I would tell you about fucked up shit. Yeah. I know. I know. I know. I know. I already know. I would tell you, like, that's trash. Yeah. Yeah. I, mean, I like that though, cause that's the type of shit I'm getting into now. That, that vibe shit. Like, yeah. I always want to like. Yeah. I don't mind my hardcore, like you know, like that Florida yeah. bass boom boom. Yeah. But I also want like some some shit. I just want to lay back, like yo, boom, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you yeah. were talking some shit, like you said. Yeah, talking shit, real shit. You know what I'm saying? You need a plan just to keep that. Like I'm talking real shit. Like I'm not just saying nothing. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know, it's basically what whatever, whatever I'm saying. No, don't, don't, you're gonna lie. Don't do it to yourself. Like, yeah. Prize of freedom is holding you back. Like. Yo, I'm, I'm just talking what I know. It's, so. No, it's good though, man, because I think you, you're staying true with who the fuck you are. Yeah. You, you're keeping it real, and the music is showing because of it. You know what I'm saying? You're going to keep on making hot shit because you have that you have that recipe. I'm going to say true to myself. You already know what you got to fucking do is continue making fucking music. Yeah. Whatever music that doesn't make your, your, your EPs or your albums, you keep that for your lost tapes. So then. Exactly. A couple years from now, they know what? Yeah, I'm gonna release a bunch of shit like when Nas did, right? Yeah. Um, there's always a time and space for that song to come out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It may not be for that moment when you're creating that album, but you made that song for a reason. Yeah. So it belongs somewhere, yeah. not just someplace being stored. You know what I'm saying? I think music should always be out no matter what it does look like. If it's trash, keep it to yourself. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but. Yeah. No song should not see shine. Yeah. You just have to find the right moment to put it out there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Makes sense. You know what I'm saying? I, I think you're on the right path, bro. I think you gotta keep on keep on pushing and whatever support you need, you know, we, we found. You already know, bro. I'm about to have I'm about to have you hang out in all my videos, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I, I have like I'm supposed to be shooting a video like in the next two weeks. You know, we have songs that just played yeah. with me. I'm shooting a video for that. So, so definitely yeah. use y'all on that. Because I mean, I'm about to, and that's just nothing. That's and that, honestly, that song like right there, I'm still tweaking it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah. when I get done tweaking it, really, it's gonna be sound. Let, it, let us know. I gotta get you with Young Mars, mother son, um, the light skinned poppy. <laughs> <laughs> he's dope. He wraps his ass off. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So, we to, yeah, we definitely have to catch up, man. Yeah. So he's not here, right? No, he's he's already. He's bounced already. Yeah. So he's he was making some songs the other night. Yeah, hey, yeah, he was recording last night. So, he, had, he had some mixtapes out. He got some more stuff out. He has some stuff on SoundCloud. On SoundCloud. I think he had just like can five, you, six Can you put that on here or not? Yeah, because we definitely collab. We definitely he, he has collab. a real we good flow. Um, he's talented, man. His mom is... Everybody's talented in this crib, son. Yeah. You know that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everyone's fucking talented. Me, I, just want, to, I want them to do exactly what the fuck they want to do. Exactly. I want them to prosper. I want you to be yeah. creative, be artists, and have fun with life. And you're making money based off your fucking art. Yeah, that's when people can say that shit. And the way we have the internet, the world, it's it's, yeah, it's possible nowadays, man. Yeah. And when I was growing up, that wasn't like that, bro. Yeah. I didn't have that type of access. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So now that I'm having, I'm gonna fucking do it. Yeah. This is a song that I produced that he rapped on. This is the richest produced the young Mize, my other son. Yeah, oh, this is great because I never, I don't, I don't know what type of style he has. It's perfect to hear his style. I don't know what's going on. 
Got some drug dealers in the back, yo. Google me, nigga, it's not hard. I got some killers with me in the front door. Try to move funny, they'll pop off. I got the gang with me everywhere I go. Keep your tools tough, you know how I roll. I don't bend the block, you gon' hit them shots in the bullets. They're right through your front door. It's the same nigga that I was before. Try to count me out, you better count me in. I'ma put in that worse in the whole ten. I'ma get the breath and we all win. I came from the dirt, I've been pushed to work. They was flipping the packs, so it's all in. No little yada, get the 17. Got a big boat, and we all in. 18 on me, that's my shit. We spending the rest of the fly shit. We stack the bodies over. <laughs> Where else you got? Yo, he, so, oh, he spits, bro. Got that, you got that flow, okay? Tell you, bro. I would have murdered that song, it's, bro. <laughs> Yo, it's, yeah, it's, got it's me on the jeans, bro. I'd have went in. I'd have. <laughs> right, so I'm pretty sure up. this is this is all him right here. This is all him. Yeah. Yeah. This is fire too. Young yeah, Maz, man. This was a meet up, unfortunately. ATM. <laughs> Came out the kitchen, we're rocking the shoulder. Hey. Came out the mud, now I hop out the rover. Yeah. Move like a zombie, got lean on my shoulder. Yeah. Look at my eyes, you can see I'm a soldier. Yeah. Yeah. Came out the kitchen, we're rocking the shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. Came out the mud, now I hop out the rover. Yeah. Yeah. Move like a zombie, got lean on my shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. Look at my eyes, you can see I'm a soldier. Yeah. Miles, I'm the greatest, I'm feeling like Tony I'm sipping that lean while I'm fighting like Kobe The AKB racing the Glock with the laser It come to my money, little nigga just pay up Pull up with choppers, we're waiting your block But we got us a drop, then we run your spot Climbing the gangsters, they really, they phony Mask on my face, can't tell they don't know me Came up from nothing, I'm chasing them harness And ATM wildin', you know that we stuntin' Talkin' that static, I say that you bluffin' Strap just like Rambo, the people we touchin' Got niggas iffy, I'ma give them 50 Wanna act wild, I'ma send up looky The rest that I'm touching, the king of my city So much to rock, I'm even feelin' like Diddy We been on the mission, we chasing this chicken It don't over up, then we back to the flip And we back to the pitches, we back to the hurt Fuck what you heard, then we back to the million Money stacked up to the top of the ceiling Room full of bricks and it's right to the kitchen Bitches get naked, they were quicker busy Stuffin' my lap while I'm rollin' the Philly I think that they mad cause I'm puttin' it work They want me goin' in the back of the hearse Caught him slippin' now he's rollin' the shirt Gang, now we back to the work All of this shit, it came from the dirt I've been around with the ones who emerge Niggas see me, yeah, they wearin' a skirt Gang, I pull them all in the dirt Came out the kitchen, but rockin' the soda Came out the mud, now I hop out the roller Move like a zombie, got lean on my shoulder. Look at my eyes, you can see I'm a soldier. Yo, yeah, bro, we definitely gonna have to link. Yo, he, yeah, he got that sauce, bro. He that, does, man. That's just yeah. ridiculous. And he's he he has he has he has the chops, man. He's 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 the talent for that. So I keep on doing it. So he's doing it. And he got a flow, flow. Yeah, like he can he can switch up in the middle of the flow yeah. and everything. I respect that. And we definitely got the link, bro. We definitely got the link, to, bro. <laughs> Tell me, man, make some shit happen. Yeah. I was talking about you, like, yo, we're going to reconnect. And um, just like pop up, like, this. Every day is a new year. Yeah. Like, waiting for that whole news resolution bullshit is bullshit. Yeah. You got to take the opportunity every fucking day around with it. So, yeah. yo, let me know. Fucking videos on. We're fucking there a thousand percent. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, whatever connects I make, you know, is your connect. Yeah. That's right. How, how we oh, you need to see our uh, Aaron and um, you need to see Baron on uh, uh, DAD Scorpio's new video. Uh, Where's that? that? Um, it's on YouTube. Um, matter of fact, YouTube? yeah, it's on YouTube. You, it's, uh, you can put it up right here. Now. Yeah, you pull it up. Yeah, it's, uh, what's the name of it? It's, uh, I said this shot the way. Yeah, yeah. Take that out right quick. That's dope as fuck, though, man. Yeah, cause him and there. So people, this is how you fucking do it, man. You connect with folks, man. You fucking, yeah. You talk. You fucking play your shit for each other. You fucking. You know, keep your word on shit. You know what I'm saying? That's the biggest thing too, cats. Like, yo, keep your word on some shit. Yeah. Like, just make some shit fucking happen, man. You, you owe it to yourself, like, just to be connecting with fucking people. You know what I'm saying? That's the only way to do it. And I mean, honestly, if you, as long as you keep your word and you're consistent, you're never going to have any problems, you know, especially with getting on or exactly. making things happen. You know, and that's really what people need to understand. Like, you just got to keep doing it. Even when you feel like nothing's going on or it's not happening or 
It's not happening for you. Those are the most, that's the most yeah. crucial time. Absolutely. To keep pushing. Yes. When nothing is happening. Absolutely. Because that, that that's that's the test. That that's that, 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 that tomorrow could be the day that, that, that some shit pops off you and you decide yeah. not to do nothing with it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's really what it is. Video, hold on. Well, blowing up over here. It's fucking notifications. <laughs> Who the fuck does he think he is? He thinks he's Brandon James or some shit. Like, come on. Yeah, you know. <laughs> <laughs> let me get, 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 let me they yeah, did, keep, man. Yeah, they I told you, keep pushing, keep yeah, pushing, keep man. Keep pushing, bro, because you don't, There we go, uh, Never Fall, uh, DJ D Scorpio. I got to catch up with D, man. Yeah, yeah, you got to catch up with him, man, because uh, like I said, he's he been doing it, man. He's been selling beats and all that. He's he been doing this thing, man. He was, he's been doing up. this thing. And Aaron, too, man. You see those beats that you, you heard yeah. from Aaron? That's nothing. That's just the beginning. We ain't even got to the good stuff yet. See, that's why we got to keep it in-house. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. We got to build in-house and fucking explode that shit, bro. Because if Aaron and Vaughn heard what's the name Flo right now, they'd be flooding him. Would be flooding him. They'll probably send him 10 beats right now. If I if I call Aaron up Bear right now and he was like, yo. Let's, 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 get, let's, get, uh, uh, let's get Bear on the phone right now. Let's put him on speaker right now. Let me see let's put him on the on, podcast. Let's so get him on the podcast right quick. Yeah. Let's ask him to answer the phone. <laughs> I'm gonna leave a voicemail. He don't answer the phone. He's a punk ass. <laughs> he can be live on the podcast. Come on, man. He gonna answer the phone. He definitely gonna answer the phone if he's on the podcast. If we call it right quick. Yo. Pull him up. Yeah, we'll find out. That YouTube drop? Is it? Uh, Trapping and DJ, uh, DJ Scorpio. All right. It's on. Um, hold on. It's uh yeah DJ and he just Scorpio spelled uh, S K O R P I O. And my nephew, uh, his name is DJ Michael. He's a Christian DJ. Oh yeah. He tours all across the country, bro. Found it. Found it. Yeah. He makes beats as well. He's he's a, he's a hip hop uh, Christian DJ, and he doing his thing DJ across the fucking country, bro. Really? No. Oh. That's how you do it. There you go. Let's watch this shit. That's them, they made that whole thing. You'll see Bear and you'll see Devon in a minute. You are not rocking with your fans. Oh, it's there. <laughs> it's there. <laughs> it's there. I'm gonna tell John. It's me. I'm out here trying to get it. From the bottom to the top. He didn't wanna see me fall. He didn't wanna see me fall. Oh no, no, I can't do that. No, no, oh no, I can't do that. No, no, he didn't wanna see me fall. He didn't wanna see me fall. Oh no, no, I can't do that. Oh no, I can't do that. I do it for my kids, nigga, what it is. Staying in my way, back up to your head. These keep hating on me, it's like they got me. I already told these niggas, my niggas coming through. You didn't wanna see me fall. You didn't wanna see me fall. Oh no, no, I can't do that. Oh no, I can't do that. I know. You don't want to see me fall. I was doing big, bro. He didn't want to see me fall. Oh, no, no, I can't do that. Oh, no, no, I can't do that. No, 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 I said, nigga, hold on, hold on, hold on, nigga, wait. He didn't wanna see me fall. He didn't wanna see me fall. Oh no, no, I can't do that. Oh no, no, no. Oh, no. Bro, so we working, man. We working. That's what we gotta do, man. <laughs> we call him now. Let me see. He has the phone. I know his ass probably. I know if he ain't at work, he at home making beats. 
He's the answer that damn phone. I know I probably can get I know I can get Devon on the phone. I know Devon probably at the crib. Who must be asleep or he must be at work. He gonna be answering the phone. <laughs> Yo, but Isn't he gonna call me in the middle of the night? He always called me late. He probably sleep. Oh, he's <laughs> probably asleep. His ass probably sleep, man. We won't get him on the show though, cause um Definitely. he'll be here. He'll be here in a week. You know, in a week? Um, but, um September. He's gonna be here for a whole week. Okay. So, yeah. well, September, I'm actually gonna be in Charlotte. I got, in Charlotte? I got a speaking gig. Oh shit! In Charlotte, that's what's up, bro? The podcast. So, and um, it's out in Charlotte. It's called Loving Me 2019 yeah. for the 20th to the 22nd. I'll be uh, part of the panel, and yeah. also I'll be doing a course of podcasting. And it's for black and brown people. You know what I'm saying? I like that. So I like the that. third annual. Um, Tierra Nicole is the person who's uh, putting it all together. Uh, if you want discount tickets, go to loving me 2019eventbreakcom Use the special code JNP Charlotte. That's Johnny Nomad Presents right there. JNP Charlotte to get 50% off the tickets. You know what I'm saying? So use my special code James P. Charlotte, get 50% of the tickets and um, yo, come see me out there, chop it up. I'm gonna do a live podcast out there as well with people, chopping up with them and making moves, bro. Yeah. You gotta fucking make moves, man. All the time, every day. Yeah. So yo. yo. Fam, you know what they got you. Know. You know. People, Johnny Nomad presents Brandon James. What's up, what's up? Out.